All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm actually going to be showing you how to install hide.files uh, for Hyperland um, using its script. This tutorial will pretty much work for any of the different um, Hyperland scripts that you can download, and I'll post a few um, up here on the screen now. Um, but uh, the same kind of applies throughout um, as far as how you would troubleshoot any issues that arise and um, how to actually get them installed um, onto your system. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna jump right into it and show you what I got. So as you can see here, I am actually um, on a Cache OS um, install. So I am in the installer here. And basically what I'm gonna do is actually install Cache OS, but I'm gonna install it with um, no desktop. You can do this with Pretty much any other uh, Arch based distro or just install Arch itself, um, which is a, a great way to do it as well. But um, I particularly like Cache OS, so this is how I typically do it. But you can do this with a lot of different Arch based distributions. Uh, you just don't want to select no desktop when you're installing it. You can install this with um, other desktops already installed, but I just I just recommend doing it with with no desktop, um, that way you, you run into the least amount of issues and dependency issues um, with having all these other things you know installed already. So I'm just gonna select the uh, drive that I want to install this on. I'm gonna erase the entire disk. And then here I'm gonna select no desktop. Um, so if you wanna select any of the other ones, you can. You can even select Hyperland if you want, but we're gonna be doing this from the TTY. Um, uh, terminal instead of doing it directly from a desktop. So it's just best to do no desktop and you already brought there from the beginning. So I'm going to go to next. All oh, that looks good. Next. And then I'm going to put in my, and then I'm going to let this install and I'll be right back. All right. So it just finished and we're going to go ahead and uh, restart. All right, so we've rebooted into Cache OS, and I, as you can see, it's uh, booted into TTY, so I can go ahead and log in. And then, so I'm logged in now, and um, you do just want to make sure that your system is indeed up to date, which it should be, but you can just make sure by running sudo pacman SYU and then, yep, there's nothing to do. So everything's good there. And then basically what we're gonna do is type in the the script, or first we're gonna download the uh, the HIDE um, from GitHub. And to do that, you're gonna use uh, this script here. Um, so it's gonna be git clone and then depth one. And then you're going to type in the URL for, all right. And once you have all that typed in, you're just going to press enter and it's going to go ahead and download the repo onto your system. Um, and then what you want to do is actually CD um, into where you just stored it, which is this little tilde and then high DE at the top here um, indicates that's where you put it. So you can just go ahead and CD into that. And then you're actually going to cd into scripts. Um, so hide slash scripts. And then once you're in there, all you need to do is type in dot slash install dot sh and then hit enter. And then from here, you'll be brought to um, a decision here. So you're going to either choose dark or light uh, for the grub theme if you chose grub as your um, boot option. Um, so I'm going to go with the dark one. And then just go ahead and click enter. And then it's going to go through installing. If anything is already installed, it's going to skip it. All right. And in here, depending on how you installed, um, whether it's Arch or Cache OS, it's going to ask you 
which option you want to install, you know, certain dependencies here. So I'm just going to choose option one. Option one is typically the best one you want to go with. But if you're just on a regular Arch install, just have the extra um, option there, which is option three. Then you go ahead and hit install. And then I'm going to choose the Cache OS one again, hit install and install. And then here um, it says there's a conflict between the pipe wire and the one that they're trying to install, which is Jack 2. Basically what it's asking, or sorry, it's trying to install Pipewire and you have Jack 2, or I have Jack 2 installed. So we're gonna remove with yes. And then here it has two different NVIDIA uh, modules that are being installed. It has the open one installed currently from Cache, Cache OS, and then um, DKMS is the one that it wants to be installed. Um, I would recommend go ahead and do yes and go with wh whichever one it has installed with the script. You can always reinstall um, whichever you know driver that you want to go with after that. Uh, but in order to get through the script, you are, you do want to hit yes. And then once you do that, you're just going to hit yes again. And it's going to go through and install all of those um, packages and uh, their dependencies. All right, if you're using uh, Peru as your AUR helper, um, it will bring this up. Um, you just want to accept changes and then put in your password. And then it will go on to the next step and install these packages. All right, so in this instance, um, it says at the bottom here, uh, packages failed to build the ZSH power or ZSH theme power level 10 get. So you can do this a couple different ways. Um, you can either run the install script again um, and see if it'll go through. Um, it looks like it just failed to build. That means it, it was more, more of an internet issue on my end, but I could also just, uh, I could type, that'd be cool. I can also just try to install this package myself and then run the script again. All right, so that just finished. I'm going to put in my password. It looks like um, they're in conflict with the one I already have. So I'm going to say yes, proceed with installation. So now that I installed that, I am going to rerun the script. I'm already in the Heidi E uh, scripts now. So I could just do the um, install.sh and go ahead and install. Anything that's already installed, it'll just it'll just skip over that, so it won't it won't do it again. So as you can see, it's just skipping through all of these items, and now it's restoring, which is a good sign. That means you're pretty much almost done. And now it's installing uh, the themes. All right, and then um, you're gonna be presented with this. It says post install. Um, this is the theme for the SDDM. Window manager, or sorry, uh, login uh, manager. So I would actually, I'll go with the candy one, hit enter. And then the last step is to put in your password one more time. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna install these flat packs. That's completely up to you. I'm not a huge flat pack um, person, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no, but if you want to, you can go ahead and install those if you wish. All right, and then you are brought to the login manager here. And as you can see, the session does say hyperlens, so I can go ahead and try and log in. And when I log in, it, yep, I am brought to the desktop here. It looks like everything is uh, functional. I'll be able to open the terminal and the apps menu and everything here. So yeah, looks like everything installed just fine you know, into the dot. Yep, so here's the Heidi E um, configuration and it looks like everything installed um, just fine. So yeah, I had uh, quite a few people ask me to create a video on how to actually install this. Um, and this should work for pretty much any other script or hyperlint. Um, you just wanna make sure you don't have any conflicts with the uh, packages that are installing and if you do um, either try to manually remove or install them yourself and then you know re rerun the script and you should be good to go um so yeah if you like the video please consider liking and subscribing and please comment below if you have any other questions um feel free to join the discord as well um, we can help you out there further too and i'll catch you in the next one
Peace.